Hi, my name is Fiji Matavish and welcome back to another DGD tutorial. Uh, this tutorial we're going to do dynamic mechanism question from 2013 paper and it's higher level. Okay, so let's read through the question. So C4 part A. The 3D graphic on the right shows a machine for uh, a baling recyclable or for baling recyclable cardboard. A link mechanism in the machine is similar to the one shown in diagram format and diagram format in figure C4A below. So what we have is we have our line diagram here to represent a mechanism. Crank OA, this one here, starts in a given position and rotates at a constant speed in an anti-clockwise direction through 360 about point 0.0. So as you see here, rotates anti-clockwise about point 0.0, constant speed. The crank OA uh, is pin-jointed to the arm BC at its midpoint, uh, A as shown. So A is the midpoint between B and C. End B is constrained to travel along the horizontal center line, so B has to stay on this horizontal line. Okay, that's its constraint. Remember, there's a lot of constraints in this. You've got to know what they are and be able to understand them. The arm CD is pin-jointed at C and always hangs in a vertical position. So CD always hangs straight down like so, because it's pin-jointed at C. Plot the locus of point D for the movement. All right, length. Okay, so OA is 30 mil, so that's the radius of our circle. BC is 168, so that's the length from B to C, and CD is 20. So as always, you draw what's given first, all right? And you want the locus of point D, so we're going to be drawing this to the left because the locus will be over to the right-hand side. Okay, so draw what's given. So define B, A is the midpoint, if it's 168, you half 168, get on your compass, mark an arc from A down to your centre line, and that gives you B, and extend it up to find point C. Okay, so you always draw what's given first. Once you've done that, read through the question again. So it says, OA rotates anti-clockwise in uh, a constant speed. Okay, so if it's going to one full revolution, we'll start at A, and we'll divide up our circle 3060 to find 12 sections, and it's from those 12 sections, then we'll find the locus of D. Okay, so divide up 3060. Now, what we have here is a range of points for point A. So A will move to each one of these individual points as it rotates around. So label them accordingly. So start off with A1, and so on. Okay. And the main rule of these linkage questions is to continue on with the constraints. Keep the same constraints. So if A has moved down to A1 here. The distance from A to B is going to remain the same. Mark from A1 the half of 168. Find out what B1 is. Join it back through A1. Find C1. Draw down 20 mil. That's your point D1. And you continue that process for all of those points. Find a full revolution of point D. <coughs> so we'll go through that. So the distance from A to B. Okay, that distance is going to remain the same. So if I move now down to where the A is moved to, down to A1, mark point B1. Join that through A1, because remember they've moved down now, so this is your arm now, this is the link. Go the other half from A1. That will give you C1. And if we draw straight down from there, measure down 20 mil, it'll give you point D1. So 
so D will move from there to there. All right, we'll do one more, and then I'll, end, I'll fast forward through because it's the same process for each. So A now has moved down to A2, the distance from A to B. Now I've kept it on my compass because it's always going to be the same. Same distance, mark it over. Now always label your points one by one so you know which is which, okay? Join B2 to A2. In this case, it's right through the center line. So C2 would have to be on the center line as well. So mark that over here. This is point C2. Distance from C to D is always 20 mil and it always hangs down vertically. So measure down 20 mil. And that's point D2. Okay. So it's the same process for all those points. Remember, the constraints stay the same. All right. You always go the same distance from A to B back. Join it through. It's distance from C to D is the same. Draw down, find point D. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward through the next part. Okay, so there are all your points for D, traveling from A all the way back down to A again. So we have D, D1, D2, all the way back, D11 to D, D itself again. So once you have all the points put in, join them in lightly freehand and then go over it again strong, and that's the locus of point D. So that is the locus of point D. So that's the linkage question found 2013, uh, question C for part A. So in the next video we'll do part B. So I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more DCG tutorials. Okay, thank you and good luck.